SEO Expert will advise you to add a content delivery network to your WordPress website for it to load faster, which is a valuable SEO tip. But yes, good thing. Now you've added CDN, content delivery network, to your WordPress website. But here's the question. How do you know that your content delivery network is actually working? Is it actually doing anything or is it just sitting there like a plugin that promises performance magic and does absolutely nothing? In this video, I want to show you exactly how to check how to know if your content delivery network is actually helping your website or it is just there doing nothing. Hey, I'm Dabs. Welcome to this YouTube channel. I'm super excited to have you here without wasting so much time. Without further ado, let's get started into this tutorial already. The first method for you to know whether your content delivery network is working is for you to do a test. Do a test before CDN and a test after CDN. You want to check the performance of your website before CDN and after CDN. That's just the basic way. It's my first recommended way. It will take you nothing to cost you nothing. There are tools like GT Metrics, web page test, Pingdom that will literally help you run all these tests literally for free. One of the challenge people have with this method would be that they probably didn't do a performance test before adding their website to a content delivery network, or maybe they did, they didn't really know the results, so to say, start somewhere. So there is no way for them to run a test again and then see a comparison. So even if that is a challenge for you, and maybe your website is life you don't want to mess with it you don't want to take it off content delivery network <laughs> deactivate it first uh, to do a test and then you don't have that luxury of time there's still a way to check this regardless because once we analyze what your website is like on a content delivery network it's very easy for us to know if your website is actually working so let's see exactly how this work a random website here is seok uh, len uh, I'm going to be using these. I've added these to a managed hosting that offers an enterprise uh, content delivery network with Cloudflare. And I'm going to talk about that eventually. But for this right now, let's just work with this random website. You can see it beautifully loading here. So let's just use two uh, tools to check this. Uh, the first one is GT Metrics, and the second one is Web Page Test. So now let's uh, paste this URL here. The beauty about using tools like this is that you can literally test your website in different locations. So by default here, this is tested in Vancouver, Canada. You can change this. You can see this is now Hong Kong, China. This is London, UK. This is now in Texas, USA. Let's just see the performance of our website with this. And now let's come to web page test. You can paste the same URL here too as well. You can see what I have here is Cape Town, South Africa. If you click into this, you can see that you can play around with different locations all across the world for you to test this. So let's just go to Australia here. Let's go far wide. You can also check this in different browsers. This is Chrome. Let's say we want to use other browsers like maybe Firefox. Let's test this there. And then let's come down here and run this test. So immediately we can see that our page is testing. So let's uh, wait for this to finish up. If you come down here, you'll see that the grid here is an A, the performance is 90, structure is 97, largest contentful paint is loading at 1.9 seconds. Ultimately, this is something I would advise you that you focus on how long did it take for uh, your website to load. This is extremely impressive because I have my server location in London and then I'm able to load this website in less than two seconds in Texas, USA. That's quite very, very fantastic. So these are the things you want to check. You want to check before and after for you to be able to see a significant increase in your low time speed. And if you come down here, you'll be able to see the summary. You want to make sure that your images are loading more faster. Things are loading more faster here. You want to come to your performance. You, from here, you'll be able to see more details. If you scroll down, you see that your time to first byte is 89 milliseconds. You want to make sure that this is loading faster very, very important. If all of these are not loading faster, then your content delivery network is not working. Uh, you also want to make sure that you check your maybe your waterfall. 
from here you'll be able to see the request on your website and see the one that is taking time to load uh you want to make sure there's significant improvement in all of these you want to see that your header uh, your header footer, this is using Elementor, as you can see there, it's taking just 59 milliseconds to load. You want to see that all of these things are loading way, way faster. And that's the beauty of having a content delivery network uh, installed. And also, let's come back here. Let's see this. This is ready to as well. Test results. Let's come down here so we can see literally almost the same thing here too as well. Uh, our time to first byte is 193 seconds here for this to load. Where was the location we set for this? This is in Sydney, Australia. Wow. And you can see this. Uh, first contentful pace is 1.8 seconds. Uh, speed index is 2.9 seconds, which is not bad, really. Uh, so that's it. You can come here to see your waterfall. Just like the same thing we saw earlier on, uh, on GT Metrics. So if you come down here... It was the first run, the second run, the third run. You can see the content breakdown. You can click into this for you to be able to see the content breakdown. How many images we have there. And then you'll be able to see uh, how all of these things are loading up. So that's the first way for you to check. You can do this for you to see the breakdown of how your website is improving. So this is the first step. The second step basically will be that you use some online tools for you to check or uh, test your website. Again, for that to be able to see how they are doing in different locations at the same time. One of those tools here is CDN Planet. Uh, they have two tools here that are quite very, very useful. Uh, if you come to their tool section, you, the first one here is CDN Finder. You want to first check. Uh, that might be very useful for you to know what... Uh, CDN, your website is loaded on, and then you can check the CDN performance checker too as well. Uh, let's open this up in a new tab too as well. So now let's uh, come here to our CDN finder. Let's just paste the URL here, and then it's a website. Let's run the CDN finder, and then we have a result here. So you can see uh, seokmedia.site. You can see that we have our CDN here is loaded on Cloudflare, which is super, super cool. So now that we know what content delivery network we are using, now let's come to the performance. Let's paste that here. Uh, let's check our performance too as well. And then you can see this. This is in real time now. I've been able to test this in different locations in the US. You can see three different locations in the US. Uh, you can see in other locations like London, Paris, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Singapore, even in Sydney. Uh, this is not able to tell us the speed, but it's able to tell us that all of them run a status code of 200, which shows that everything here is a hit. Uh, you can see that we don't have any miss at all in different locations, which is quite very, very good. So this is telling us that our website is working in different locations. So the final tool I'm going to be talking about in this video that will give you more insight into how your website is doing in different locations would be this. is called uptrends.com. If you go to their tools, you'll be able to see their free CDN performance tool. You can... Uh, paste your URL here from all checkpoints. You can start a test and you can see this is running. And then we can scroll down here for us to see our test. And the beauty about a tool like this is that you can automate your test. You can do this like daily for some days for you to be able to see how your website is doing. And the beauty about this is that this is testing in more location. But there's one location here that this is not working as a forbidden. <laughs> so you want to be very, very careful. If you have website visit from this, you want to check, right? So now you can see that we are testing this in lots of lot of location at the same time but the beauty about this tool is that not only is this tool letting us know that we have a 200 status on our website in all of this location is giving us the resolve time the connection time the download time and then our ip address and the time that this was tested which is today 13th of October 2025. You can see from here that my website is loading in less than one second in all of this location. From 53 milliseconds to 84 to 88 to 90, you can see them. You can see this is loading in milliseconds. It takes a content delivery network for you to be able to have the speed. And then I have my server location in London. And then you can see that my website is loading 
absolutely well all across the world because this is Beijing here. This is in China, right? And I can click into this for me to be able to see uh, the detailed response. And we can also see our response either here. Most importantly, you want to come down here to see that you have a eat from your CHEV catch status. And also, you also want to see your server here, which is Cloudflare. This is to let you know that this request was set from our content delivery network here, which is Cloudflare. So this is not going to the origin server. You would agree with me that this is a hassle for you to be able to check this, maybe literally like every day, at least for you to be able to see that your content delivery network is always working. It's working today. What if it's not working tomorrow? What if there is a server down from your CDN next tomorrow? You want to be able to keep an eye on your CDN and it's a lot of us. And that's why a hosting platform like hosting.com offers enterprise CDN and give you the ability to see your metrics in your dashboard. By far, the easiest way is for you to keep an eye on your CDN on the same platform that you manage your WordPress website. Super simple and easy. Let me show you that real quick. So if we come to uh, hosting.com here on my manage WordPress dashboard, so you can see the same website here, seoclearn site so if i come down here just at a glance here i can tell how many traffic was served from edge and which one was served from origin 55.9 percent and just 36.1 percent from here so i can also check my graph here from from here i can see at a particular time in the day for me to be able to see and this activity is in the last 24 hours i can filter this down to the last 12 hours six hours the last one are uh, even 72 hours, 7 days, and also for 30 days. Super simple and easy for me to see this. And if you want to see more details about uh, your site activity, you can just come to uh, reporting here. Uh, from here, I will be able to see the overview, just like the same thing I just saw earlier. And then if I scroll down, I'm going to be seeing locations that my traffic is coming from. As you can see from here, I've got traffic from Nigeria. United States, Australia, Germany, Saudi Arabia, Canada, Netherlands. And if I keep scrolling down, maybe I'm able to also see the browser with which they are using. I'm able to see other things like uh, top client IPs. I can see their catch status. So from my EAT, you can see that I have 785 EAT. From MIS, you can see that I have 315. So this is even more detailed than whatever other third party tool is giving me. I can see top solo code. I can see top devices that they are using. How many people are checking via desktop or mobile? I can see the protocol. I can see the edge status code. So for by 200, I can see I have 1.3K. And I can click to see all here for me to be able to see more details on my status. Uh, so you can see 200, 403, 301 redirect. So you can see for 404, I've got nine of them. Uh, 304, 302, I can see all of them from here, which is super, super amazing. And that's the reason why it's awesome to invest in an hosting account like hosting.com. They just make this a lot easier. From here, you can manage your CDN. And as a matter of fact, did I mention that they offer free enterprise CDN as part of their managed WordPress package? That's mind-blowing. Never got to pay for using Cloudflare. It is just part of the package. That's quite very, very awesome. So from here, you can switch in as well between overview to delivery. So we have been able to see that earlier from the general, but we can just easily just come to delivery straight up for us to be able to see that here. So now we can see all the eat, all the misses, and then we can see the locations and everything literally from here. And also for our firewalls, we can see our web application our firewalls from here too as well. Uh, super, 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 super cool stuff here from hosting.com. So if you're really, really keen about your website loading fast and you want to always keep an eye on your content delivery network, consider a managed hosting from hosting.com. You get to have 
a free enterprise CDN from Cloudflare. Not the free, this is the enterprise package <laughs> content delivery plan from Cloudflare, literally as part of your managed hosting plan on hosting.com. And if you don't really know much about managed hosting, you really don't understand how it works. I did a video not long ago about managed WordPress hosting. I will leave the link to that in the video description. You can check that video out to learn more about managed WordPress hosting. Like I said in that tutorial, it might be everything your WordPress website need to be able to survive any type of traffic spike, to be able to do decent sales like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, holiday sales. You can guarantee that your website will stand the test of time. So check the video description for that tutorial. And if you really do care how much this is cost, uh, let me show you here if we come to hosting.com. By the way, we're going to leave the link to hosting.com in the video description. You can check it out. Actually, to their managed WordPress hosting. If you come down here, if you come to their plan here, you can see that they have four plans, the Startup Pro Business and Expert Plan. And you can literally start any of them for as low as one dollars per month and then you get to now start paying 29.99 59.99 99.99 .99, 199.19 and you can see everything you're going to be getting here like i told you enterprise cdn super super awesome and that's it that's exactly how to know if your content delivery network is working well on your wordpress website if you've learned anything or two in this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of some tutorial like this on this channel, do well to subscribe. That's my time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another one. And always remember that website speed is nothing you want to compromise on. <laughs> <laughs>